it's your boy crypto blood and welcome to another review you guys probably remember this one the telegram open network ton remember that token remember that project well guess what the sec tried to come in and shut them down and they actually did they you know it was just too much legal back and forth and they just saw that they were probably weren't going to win that battle so the telegram group kind of just shut the whole telegram open network project down and decided to just go ahead and scratch it but the community this is what i love about decentralization the community decided to pick this back up and start it back so we're going to look at this freeton.org is the website you can check it out you see it on my screen to my right but this project i think really has a lot of promise a lot of future here um, and maybe a hidden gem you see they're using a gem as a part of their logo this literally may be a hidden gem no lie about it because telegram has spent a lot of money they raised like a billion dollars and since spent over a year and a half developing this decentralized platform but because of these governments they were unable to really get this thing going so it's kind of great to see the community pick that back up all the hard work and hours and hours and hours thousands of hours most likely of development that the telegram group used to develop the framework well, the community can leverage that and, and they are leveraging that and they're going to finish this project. So let's take a look at freeton.org right now. And we'll also take a quick peek at their white paper. I'll leave a link in the description of this video for the white paper so you can check it out for yourself. It is pretty lengthy how white papers usually are 53 pages worth of information. But if you're really into the nuts and bolts, I think it's something you should really read that'll help you get a very clear and uh, deep understanding of what the ton network is all about now tonlabs.io is the organization that is the core developer behind the free ton network okay the reboot of the ton network the ton os is a fully fledged vertically integrated technology stack that helps developers work easily with blockchains and makes it simple and intuitive for users. The Ton Labs organization was actually founded back in 2018. Ton Labs is the core developer of this free ton blockchain and it compromises of a decentralized team focused on developing the infrastructure and the free software for Ton OS. So their mission guys is to build a truly decentralized internet that delivers security, trust, data ownership, censorship resistant, I love that, and privacy. They are dedicated to empowering global communities to explore, build, and develop solutions and applications that will easily be accessible to everyone. Thank God for blockchain and open source because the community went ahead and picked this bad boy up. There's an article written about this whole situation back in August of this year, and it just talks about, this is out of Coindesk, talks about tons of legacy and how telegram's cryptocurrency still lives on so the telegram abandoned blockchain project is still going strong by devoted fans that keeps maintaining the open source code and now runs two competing networks and i love this this is how it should be this is how it should go when you're talking about open source development so after telegram uh, officially backed off of its blockchain project it left behind a notable community of developers and small blockchain startups that have been waiting for a ton to go live for years. And so the disappointed group went ahead and just took over and, and took matters into their own hands. And that's why we have what we see here, freeton.org. I want you guys to go check this out because I really think this could be a hidden gem, ladies and gentlemen. So they have a number of wallets you guys can check out, ton surf. We've got Broxus, Killux, and Extra Ton. Those four wallets are able to be utilized right now. You can buy Ton crystals over the counter. Check this out from Freeton OTC P2P. That's one Telegram group you can launch and buy over the counter. You can also buy from Cryptarium.com. Check their site out if you want more information on how to buy the Ton crystal and SEX.io. Of course, you guys have heard of that exchange. Very popular if you haven't. Very popular crypto exchange. You can buy Ton crystals from there. You can even pay for hosting. That's crazy. You can pay for hosting with the Ton crystals. This is what we need. Very decentralized manner of hosting websites and content. This is blockchain at its finest. 
And this is what we need more of projects like this. I'm glad to see this. And so one thing to point out in the white paper is that they're saying here that the free ton native cryptocurrency is used not only as a store of value by the scarcity of its reserves, but also as a means to participate in all of the projects created directly as an outcome of the meritocratic token distribution mechanism. You can find out more information about what that is in their white paper. It starts at the bottom of the fourth page on their white paper. So please go check out more about the meritocratic token distribution model that they're going with. Their governance is pretty straightforward as well. It's um, anyone can upload a proposal for which the community votes with tokens using the soft majority voting system. Okay, this soft majority voting system is a transparent voting process with advanced announcement and clear deadline. If members don't have an opinion and or are reluctant to vote, it is assumed that they are neutral. Instead of making an attempt to force everyone to vote for every decision, SMV essentially allows decisions by those who care. And the metric for passing a decision is the difference between percent of yeses minus percent of noes. For example, if 10% a voter said yes and none said no, then it is assumed the decision is sufficiently supported and there are no objections. So pretty clear cut way of um, doing governance on their chain. I like that. And they have a very nice illustration in the white paper of how this governance system would work in a visual manner. So definitely check that out for more information on that. And so you can get a clear understanding of how that works. But all in all, I think we may have a sleeper on our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. I remember when this project went live or was attempting to go live. I said then, hey, and this is when it was being launched by a centralized organization. That is always a central point of failure. And it's great to see this because they had a lot of tech behind the ton network. I really liked what I was seeing as it was developing back in 2018 and into 19. I knew that would be an issue long term because there's a central point of failure. And so I'm glad to see that, you know, even though Telegram had to ditch it, I'm glad to see the community pick it back up and continue on with it. And it may be a hidden gem for you. So please go check it out. Freeton.org for more information on how to uh, obtain some of these tokens, how to participate and even how to develop on their platform. So I definitely encourage you guys to go to freeton.org for more information. The Telegram Open Network is back. A relaunch of the Ton OS by a decentralized community. I think this is a major, major win here or can be in the future. Of course, all of this is a gamble and you have to do your own due diligence. Crypto Blood is not endorsing any of these products. All right. So just remember that. But hey, I think this is a great one. You need to check it out to work crypto blood. And that's my review of the free ton network. All right. We out of here, people. Wow.